this is the energy vibration lazing for the Leo Sun Moon and Rising sign this for you Leo's this week is the vehicle from the 15 the week begin from Nathan to turn at 15 in this week have you made to mark met the looked energy my the zodiac energy and that is positive for you Lee, is foo okay this this is zero positive but on for the stone welcome all newcomers for a personalized lacing melt on by the website and need for hater on to subscribe and uh, days um, subscribe to this channel okay let's look and see what is coming up on Monday for you guys a new beginning a new start um, and this is a positive positive energy the us of ain is uh, the ace of ones is always a positive positive new start that is coming this new start um, you have the energy of the five of cups and we're going to see why the energy of the five of cups what regrets is there and you have the two of swords so this is good and the five of cups energy because there's a new start so there is no regrets okay and then you have the energy of transformation you're seeing a situation and there is a positive transformation that is coming through you need to have temperance in whatever the situation is um, the energy of the devil is also here but it can help you and it can end you and the outcomes of the week is a ten of cups okay so this is going to be positive um, you need to be um, a, a lot of people need to be really on um, the the point because there is something that is happening a, a sort of a, um, a someone is trying to deceive you or take something from you someone is trying to deceive you or take something from you be careful as I look at your energies um, you're ending up with a ten of cups uh, for this week so it's going to be positive with your family on Sunday it's going to be a good connection to connect with your family now let's see what this energy about the new starts and regrets what is happening with the new starts and regrets um, there is um, a positive energy that is coming in with this new start because you have the energy of the nine of one yet still that you know you need to have some balance and temperance with how you're working with people so um, I need to um, ask a question um, to see what is happening what is transpiring uh, I think um, my question cards are inside but what I'm seeing happening here is that you're you're spiritually protected from a situation so it's as if someone um, is deceiving you and you I think you basically feel within your soul who is that person that is deceiving you the energy of the five of cups there's a new start but there is some regrets um, whatever is transpiring you're seeing something and it has to do with work or business so be aware of whatever is happening at work or business because someone is trying to deceive you um, check and make sure that everything has a point okay okay um, regrets and you and seeing a situation um, you're you're thinking about a situation you're, you're you it's as if you feel as if something isn't um, adding up and you you know um, the energy of the angman is as if yeah you're seen and you're feeling as if something isn't adding up but you, you know you're trying to find out the truth of the situation there's going to be a judgment call and this judgment call has to do with whatever that is happening there is this judgment call that is going to be coming up and you need to understand that whenever this judgment call comes up that means there is a situation that you're trying to figure out what exactly is going on because there is some regrets and you're trying to figure out something there's the energy of the devil but this can be working for you in a positive way or it could be working against some of you but as I'm saying this this judgment call that is coming up um, you have the seven six and two eight of cups that you're leaving something behind there's a transition that you're leaving something behind 
let's see what is coming up with the family and you have a victorious a good victorious ending because this is your own energy vibration so there is going to be a successful win with whatever that has transpired the number seven is going to be your um, uh, energy the number seven is going to be the number seven energy so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive whatever that is happening I need to ask again what is this judgment call is about because whoever is trying to deceive you the three of cups so there's going to be a celebration because um, you have a big win here because you you saw a situation for what it is you realize that something was a little bit off you have been thinking about it and you're seeing now exactly what is happening so this judgment call is that it's a good um, judgment call because you have now found your 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 true inner light as return you, you you are feeling yourself ag again and this is going to happen in the middle of the week because it's as if this judgment call is a judgment call of a celebration but this is a huge celebration because you have overcome a situation that has transpired and you have overcome the situation which is so positive because you you're going to see exactly what is happening and the transition of the debt and transition is taking place in your life but you are coming out the winner okay I love this energy and I love using this as to, to ask about messages because this is going to be a big huge winning that is going to come out for you so overall this week is a very positive week you have the energies of um, a, on Sunday a positive connection with the family whatever that was um, whatever regrets you have this judgment this regrets is going to bring a judgment call where uh, you're, you're going to find out that you have won um, this victory a huge victory is coming in for you um, at the end of day rest I find peace in nature and rest my body mind and in order to connect with spirit so um, this is a very good card for you to have be aware be protective of your things whatever is happening be protective of your things because someone is being very deceitful with you and you it could be you that is being deceitful but remember whatever you give out you will receive says so, but this is as if someone is being deceitful to you and I'm going to be um, I'm guided to look and see where is this deceitfulness is coming from where is this deceitfulness is coming from um, not to worry there's a transformation okay there's a transformation that is coming in you have the death card twice whenever the death card comes up um, some people need to be aware if there is someone who is sick or, or unexpected that can happen when the death card comes in twice okay um, the death card is a form of transformation because you're seeing something and um, you're going to move away from this you're going to win this situation you're going to overcome this situation but it can also means that debt is coming up for some people not to worry about this deceitfulness because you have realized where this deceitfulness sit it, it sits with someone um, and you're going to be victorious over this deceitfulness because what you're having here is the Sun and the star together so whoever tried to take something or do something that was deceitful you are going to win this and win this big okay it could be a complex it could be um, something and then opportunities are going to come to you wonderful new beautiful opportunities are going to be coming to you whenever this energy of opportunities comes up not to worry because new doors of opportunities are going to be opening up new love because you have the Sun and the Sun you have the Sun and um, the star card and the Sun and the star card coming out together is that you have overcome a situation positive growth and expansion is on the horizons for you guys the opportunity may brings with it inspiration and ins insights or it could be the chance you have been waiting for to take action on an idea you already have 
You may be seeking to manifest or create new things in your creative career and this is going to help you if you're planning on buying a house or you're looking for a new place or romance in your life whatever your desire is your angels are going to bring them into you and this is going to be extremely extremely positive please remember to like share these videos please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rise and sign um, ask the universal angels for divine intervention in whatever situation um, the deceitfulness is you're going to overcome this deceitfulness whoever is trying to deceive you or whoever is trying to play against you or whatever the situation is whoever is trying to take something from you this deceitfulness is going. you're going to overcome this deceitfulness so not to worry I want to say to each and every person please go and listen to the second quarter reading the second quarter reading is the reading that we have from April until May it's on the website so um, go and listen to that reading because there's sometimes there's information for you, um, you and go back and listen to the monthly reading because this is going to help you a lot okay so I want to say to each and every person please if someone is passing on from this um, dimension to the spirit world you need to release them and let them go remember the good memories about this person because obviously there is going to be a ending that is going to be coming um, if your father is sick and your father is um, a uh, Aquarius a Gemini an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra um, and, and and this person is sick there this person could be trans forming or getting ready to release to move on to the spirit world so whoever is this person and um, whoever has connection with someone who is an Aries a Gemini or a Libra this person could be passing on so um, prepare yourself for this in this week namaste until next week